we're going to be looking at today is we're looking at how we can make it so we can see all of our files on the Mac OS operating system. And so we can use this to clean up our interior side of our Playgrounds project so we can actually make it that our um, project will properly go into GitHub and not cause it to accidentally delete. Because we found a problem when we're playing with Playgrounds that it's not actually, it erases our project from the GitHub because it actually loses the Git directory that's hidden inside that. And so in order to do that, we have to do a couple changes for that. So what I need you to do is you first open up Terminal. And in your Terminal, you're going to add this lovely section of code to that. That's right here, the default space, write space, com.apple.finder space, apple show all files with our camel case notation, and then a space in all in caps, yes. What this line does is this is going to make it so you can see inside the hidden files on your Mac system, so you can remove some hidden files so we can properly put things in a correct repository structure. So once you type that in, and make sure the case matters, and you just hit enter, and you'll get back a prompt on your Linux box that looks just like this. Because the terminal prompt will um, not get, it doesn't have a change or anything like that. What it does though is it enables the availability for you to actually see things inside terminal. Or not in terminal, excuse me, inside finder. Then what we want to do is we want to find our finder icon on our dock. Let's maximize this a bit here. And on our finder icon, we want to hold down the Alt key and right click on finder, which gives us the ability to see this relaunch option right here. So again, that's Alt and right click on the finder icon on your dock. And then we want to choose the option for relaunch. Now that we've relaunched that, we'll just go back in, click on finder, make a new window. And as you can see, we now have visible some lovely icons right here. They're kind of grayed out. They're not, they're the hidden icons. And what we need to do is we need to go to our projects. So to go to our documents, go to our Swift projects. In this case, the My Afternoon CTEC Playground. We want to right click on it and choose show package contents. Again, it's right click show package contents. And once we're inside there, you can see there's a .git and a .git ignore file. The problem is that every time that Playgrounds gets changed, it automatically deletes that .git and .git ignore file, which means we lose all of our GitHub commentary that we did for a committee, and that's why we've had to re-add it into GitHub a couple times. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the way we're doing that. So I'm going to just right-click on those and move to trash, or select both and hold the command key and the delete key to get rid of both at once. So I'm ready of the .git folder and the .git ignore file out of the right clicked contents of the playground files and do that for all of your playgrounds that you have. So right click, show package contents and any .git folder or and it's the command key and delete or right click and move to trash, either one works. Once you've removed those .git folder and .git ignore files, we want to make a brand new folder for this so we can keep all of our playgrounds together and put that as a repo and it won't um, cause problems. So to do that, we're just going to right click right here, make a new folder. And I'm going to call this Afternoon Playgrounds. And the same rule applies that we've normally had, where there's no spaces for that playground. And in my Afternoon Playgrounds, I'm going to drag in my two playgrounds into that folder. So now I have my playgrounds inside that folder. And now that I've deleted that .git folder, I can drag that folder into GitHub. Make that a repo. And again, choose create an add. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of files that are part of that. I need to change it so some of those aren't included. I go up to repository, repository settings. In the ignored files, I add my bin slash, my dot ds underscore capital S store, and the xc user data. That takes off a couple of my files, down to nine changes instead of 11. Give a message saying, fixing the repo to properly support playground files. Just a quick little thing explaining why we're changing this. And commit that to master. We now have a repo that we can put all of our playground files in that will continue to save our playgrounds to which will then properly reflect our changes to our playground files and not lose our data. Once we've done that, 
Go ahead, put it into GitHub. We can publish that uh, repository just like normal. And now we also don't have to re uh, remove that dot playgrounds thing, so it makes it so it's easy to read. And 2016, because it's for this year. Publish that repo. And I now have my repo up here. And as I make changes to my repository, I can just have it automatically synced as needed. So that takes care of that. Once I'm done with that, and I've got that taken care of, I'm going to go back to terminal. I'm going to use my up arrow, which will bring back that previous line of text that I just typed. And instead of leaving that yes, I'm going to change it to no in caps and press enter. Again, go back over to my finder, alt, right click, and choose relaunch again. And joy of joys, when I make a window inside finder, I no longer see all the hidden files. Ah. So my hidden files are now gone. I don't have to worry about accidentally doing things I shouldn't delete. 